welcome to another week. Uh, my name is Den, I'm an OD2 student, and this week, although a bit of a shorter video, is filled with lectures, microbiology labs, a whole lot of clinic, and uh, a few other things sort of littered in there. So I hope you enjoy the video, and uh, forgive my messy bed hair. Yeah, yeah, I was literally like, content. <laughs> So to start off the week, we have a microbiology lab where we're identifying all the weird and wonderful bacteria found in these cultures. In clinic, we tested some of our binocular vision workup skills. These are important if your ability to focus your eyes and coordinate your eyes are not in sync. And in preclinic, we practiced some of our anterior eye examinations. Here you can see the beam of the slit lamp, the microscope we use, looking at the lens found inside someone's eye. We can also measure roughly how deep the front of our eye is, which can be important in a few conditions. Here we have a student having what are called epicapsular stars, which are benign flecks on the front of the lens. Getting dilated always makes my eyes feel weird. <laughs> it's like, it's like, Your eyes are like gone. <laughs> yeah. We also met up with our research supervisors concerning the research that we're going to be doing for the rest of the year. In the evening, I helped host an IPEP skills workshop, and our particular booth was set up to learn about ocular emergencies as well as using direct ophthalmoscopy to look inside the eye. IPEP is a disciplinary health club that collaborates with all of the health cohorts, optometry, dentistry, medicine, nursing, so on, and is focused on building intercollaborative care before we all graduate. Today I had a workshop which was the culmination of many weeks of a student leadership program organised by one of the optometry organisations here in Australia. And so they were kind enough to send over some food and a gift basket uh, because we are in COVID lockdown. This is a skill called vertometry, and we're going to be tested on it for the duration of our degree. Uh, it's essentially used to try and figure out the power of different lenses, whether that be lenses in glasses. You can also use it for contacts, actually, but you need a little mount for it. Um, you can use it for a bunch of interesting lenses like bifocals, progressive edition lenses, things of that nature. And we're finishing off the week with a bunch more clinical skills, whether that be looking into people's eyes using these fancy headsets or estimating and measuring the amount of error that they've got in their eyes.